today I'm diving into the ultimate cutting showdown, plasma versus laser. Let's get started. First up, let's address speed and precision. Plasma cutters use ionized gas at high velocity to slice through metal. It's fast, but you'll notice distortion and a wider curve, the width of the cut. Rough edges and heat marks? Now, let's talk lasers. 1.5 kilowatt lasers fire concentrated light energy at insane power levels. This means razor thin cuts and minimal heat impact. This creates accuracy not available with plasma tables, even for those intricate designs. When reviewing laser cut edges, you will notice they are clean and sharp. For a fast review, plasma cutting creates a gives moderate precision with heat affected edges. 1.5 kilowatt laser characteristics are fine kerf, high precision, minimal heat impact to even thin metals. But what about material capability and thickness? Plasma cutting works great on mild steel, stainless and aluminum, but it struggles with ultra thin or reflective materials. Here's some footage of a plasma cutter having a tough time with a thin reflective sheet. Now watch our high powered laser take on stainless, aluminum, titanium, even copper and brass with no problem. And at 1.5 kilowatt, it's cutting through thick plate steel at speeds plasma can't match. When you review these machines, you will notice how plasma produces a rougher cut while the laser is faster and cleaner. Plasma is good for mid-thickness metals, struggles with reflectivity on polished metals. The 1.5 kilowatt laser cuts a wider range of metals and handles thick and thin materials, factoring in the ease with which you can control the power and speed of cut to the laser head. So, what are the operating expenses to consider? Plasma cutters are cheaper up front and consumables like electrodes and nozzles aren't too bad, but in the last 18 months, the cost of lasers has fallen. But you're using gas, typically oxygen or nitrogen, can add to the cost. Make sure to discuss these costs with sales when deciding. The 1.5 kilowatt laser, higher upfront cost, but no electrodes to replace, and it doesn't need gas for cutting most materials. And many people lease the machines, so it's a monthly cost, not an upfront cost to most businesses. Plus, with fewer moving parts, there's less maintenance overall. Plasma lower initial cost is attractive, but higher consumable and gas costs must be considered. 1.5 megajoule lasers can have a higher initial cost, but lower long-term operating costs. And plasma cutting is still a great budget-friendly option, but if you want precision, speed, and the ability to cut nearly anything, the 1.5 kilowatt laser is the future time-saving consideration with cleaner, more precise cuts mean less labor. Time is money. Would you start with plasma or go all in on high-powered laser cutting like so many businesses are? Is it really a matter of just a higher monthly payment? Let me know in the comments. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit like, subscribe for more insights, and stay tuned for more cutting-edge content. My contact points are in the description if you want to reach out. I want to say thank you to EMP Laser in Melbourne, Florida for the factory tour. They are providers of many different types and laser systems, including the E-Online of CO2 lasers. We hope to see you again. Cheers.